Um, yeah, simulation theory, I think it came about when we were making the album, I got into sort of VR gaming a little bit. I've never really been a big gamer, um, but when I started playing these VR games, I was blown away with these other worlds that are out there that you can explore, and it reminded, it reminded us both of our young childhood when we were sort of, you know, uh, playing games. We, when we first got together, we got into playing games and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and also the 80s, obviously. It made me remember a lot of the sort of early 80s films that I loved and how that may have actually impacted our band, you know, because most of our musical influences were probably when we grew up in the 90s, you know, um, but I wanted to sort of on this album revisit some of those earlier sort of childhood influences. You know. Last year we decided to kind of release a couple of singles like standalone style, because um, we were just working on music at the time in between some of the touring that we had, so Typically we'd normally tour and take time off and then work on music, but we wanted to kind of keep both sides of what we do kind of happening and rolling and fresh. So we were, yeah, we kind of, well, we, we worked on a song, recorded it, and we're like, should we sit on this for a year and not show anyone or should we just release it? So we, we wanted to put it out and then we kind of did that again, did that a few times and we thought it kind of almost was, uh, you know, keeping the, at least the fans or the listeners like up to date with where we were creatively. Uh, we actually just made mainly the tracks on the album. The, the, the issue we had was actually we had a lot of alternative versions of the songs. Some songs we recorded like acoustically or maybe more orchestrally and then other songs we recorded more in a traditional way, like a rock way or even more electronic. And so actually the difficulty for us was kind of choosing which genre to put the song in, you know. Uh, so yeah, we really enjoyed making the videos on this album. We worked with um, this great director called Lance Drake, and working with him was uh, the first time we've had a really solid, strong, creative relationship with a video director. Uh, most of the time, we sort of like uh, you have one meeting, maybe a few ideas come up, and then you just sort of go and shoot it and hope for the best. But with Lance, we got to develop a, a long, sort of deep kind of uh, tapestry of different images and looks and vibes and stuff. And so we, we've never really done that before. So we decided to sort of continue with that across the whole album. So because we, because um, the album itself we made with lots of different producers. So we thought maybe for the videos we'd work with the same director for everything. I've learned that Dom likes playing tribal drums. Yeah. Yeah. And not not because I sometimes think that you're mainly into playing only a sort of standard rock drum kit, but it was nice seeing you. It was nice seeing you getting into playing other drum sort of you know scenarios like tribal drums, also drum programming and stuff. So yeah, that, well, that was pretty new. That's I'd say. a good point because I think on most of the tracks on the album, I think all of us, all three of us, you know, had to kind of think a little bit more outside of our own boxes of instrumentation and kind of the way that we normally do things. So, um, which is you know kind of challenging, but also fun to do as well, to kind of get outside of your comfort zone. Uh, I met up with, um, for the song Get Up and Fight, I met up with um, Shellback, uh, he's, uh, he's a really cool producer. Johan. Johan, yep, <laughs> and, uh, otherwise known as Shellback. And I uh, had a chat with him just about, you know, different directions and stuff, and uh, it turned out that he was like a sort of closet muse fan, you know, like he, he, he actually came to, he was in the mosh pit of one of our shows, I think, in Sweden back in like 2002 or something. So he, I think he grew up listening to us a little bit, but he's obviously moved very much into the pop sphere of production. So I think we both had a mutual interest. We were interested in trying something with a different type of uh, producer, completely outside of the rock sphere. Whereas he was actually interested in working with a rock band for the first time. So it kind of worked out really well. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a fan of Stranger Things, like everyone else in the world. <laughs> and uh, looking forward to the new season. But um, yeah, well, I kind of wanted to do something, you know, we kind of wanted to do almost like a movie posted style thing for, for an album cover for a little while. And as Matt said, the kind of collaboration we were working on with Lance Drake, the video director, we really started having a lot of different kind of characters and people in the videos that it seemed like the perfect time to do it. And um, I'm just, yeah, just a big fan of Kyle's work, so I kind of wanted to find someone who's a great illustrator. And a uh, big fan of his work, checked out his stuff, contacted him, and he was, he was cool. But yeah, he did it all like just on an iPad, you know, which is, is really kind of pretty amazing to see him do it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.